is a testimony of all of us. Oh, I want to see him. Just to look upon his face. The woman with the issue of blood, she said, if I could just. First speaker to be Evangelist Collins. Let the power of the Holy Ghost that follow in her Evangelist never will be here. As the Lord be. But isn't that a testimony? Lord, help me to just see your face in peace. The body may get wrecked with disease and pain and all those stuff. Yeah. The suffering, the pain of losing someone. Yes. But oh, I want to see him. Yes. Just to look, just to look. It will be worth it all. Oh, yeah. Sister Tanya, it will be worth it all. Oh, yeah. For all those that have lost loved ones, it will be worth it all when we see Jesus. It will be worth it all. Stay in the fight. Don't give up. Don't give in. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. But we can make it is what I can do. But just for an hour. But in the morning, there's some joy, there's some peace, there's some happiness, there's a contentment in the spirit. Just wait until the morning comes. And while you wait, sing a song. Shout out to the Lord. The choir sing a song. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. Because we know in the end, we're going to win. The Lord bless you. Greet our pastor, Bishop Phillips. We had to have him in our presence at this time. Evangelist Collins coming forward with the word of God. Following her will be none other than Evangelist Deborah Beattie. As thus said the Lord. Let's receive him by saying Amen. amen.
thank him for our son Jesus Christ who's the head of my life. Thanking him for the Holy Ghost who abide in my soul. Even for a time that I can give him thanks for the many things he's done for me. Even three weeks ago when I fell, he was there for me. I thank and praise him because it could have been worse. But you know the God that we serve, he said his son will never leave us. And he's been with me all the way through. Many things that I've been going through, I know that it's Jesus. Jesus. How I trust him. How? Hallelujah. How could we do without Jesus? But I thank him this morning. Thank you, God, who's the head of my life. I just love him. Hallelujah. Love his son, Jesus Christ, who I learned so much about. How to love him. How to read about him. How to get closer to him. And I thank him this morning for my pastor, his wife, and our pastor, Evangelist Philip, and Sua, Evangelist Sua, all the ministers, the elders, all the family, our family, those that come to visit from time to time. We just want to thank God for all of you this morning. If you would go with me to the word of God, as my pastor called me last night, I said, Lord, I can't do anything without you. But if you would give me a word, I will stand before your people and deliver your word. If you have your Bibles, we'll turn with me to Mark, the fourth chapter. Mark, the fourth chapter. We want to thank God for our musicians because they're a blessing to the church of God. And we thank God for their faithfulness this morning. Our minister of music. Oh Lord, through it all, he's been right there. And I thank him and praise God for all that he's doing for him in this time. Because I know my brother is also, hallelujah, in the hospital. So just keep Minister Hyman lifted up because going through these, these treatments are not the best. So just keep praying for him that the Lord will keep blessing him and his family. We thank you for the word of God. We're going to come from chapter 4 of Mark. Beginning at the 33rd verse. Have it say, Amen. 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 And with many parables spake he the word unto them, and they were able to hear it. But without the parables spoke he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded on all the things to his disciples. And the same day, when evening was come, he said unto them, let us pass over onto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him, at, even as he was in the ship. And there were also him, with him, other in the other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and said to him, Master, carest not that thou er that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, what manner of man is this, that even the wind of the sea obey him? Thank you, Lord, for your word from these verses. I will take the message of today. Jesus got the power. Jesus got the power. Companion talk, peace, be still. Here, as we see, as Jesus went out in the sea, with his disciples, he already has been speaking to them, but in parables that they could not understand. And they kept asking the Lord about the things, but he said, let us come and go over to the other side. And as they went with him, there was a storm that came up. 
I want you to know today that many storms are going to come up. Many storms in different ways are going to come up. But we got to remember that Jesus got the power to let these storms in our life, hallelujah, be still. They said, what manner of man is this? Yeah. Hallelujah, that the wind obey. Yeah. But I want you to know this morning that there is power yeah. in Jesus Christ. Yeah. I said, God, hallelujah, sent his son, and he said, I gave him all power. Yeah. I don't know about you, but Jesus got the power. Yeah. I don't know what the storm in your life may be this morning, but I heard they said, Jesus, don't you care about us? Oh, Lord, we're about, hallelujah, to be destroyed. Yeah. Many times we tremble and we worry about the things in the world and the things that's going on. But I want you to know that Jesus got the power. He got the last say. Hallelujah. All you got to do is be still. Know that he said, peace, be still. And if he's the man, hallelujah, that speaks it, Hallelujah, don't you know that storm is going to cease one way or the other. We might still have to go through, but guess what? Jesus said, he is, hallelujah, the one that calms the sea. Yes. He will calm the, hallelujah, the power in our life, hallelujah. I don't know what we're going through this morning, but I know this message, hallelujah, I said, Lord, it's for me. Hallelujah, to know that you can see me through. Yeah. That you got the power. Yeah. Hallelujah. All you got to remember is that when Jesus said, peace, be still. That everything, hallelujah, was, hallelujah, silent. Yeah. Yeah. Everything began to get silent. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I heard this morning. Somebody said, the storm in my life. Yeah. Oh, glory. And I know whatever the Lord said, it will be. Come on, somebody. If you love him, say hallelujah. hallelujah. If you believe that the storm in your life can be seen, say hallelujah. 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 Glory. 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 Jesus got the power. Yes, they yes. asked, what kind of man is this? Yes. Huh? That every, hallelujah, everything will obey him. I want you to know this morning who he is. He's the son of the living God. Hallelujah! He is the son of the living God. And if you want your storms to be seized, you got to get to know the man Jesus Christ. If you don't know him, you got to get to know him. There is no other way to the Father but through the Son Jesus Christ. I don't know about you. Whatever storm it is, trust Jesus. He is the way. All you got to do is come and repent of your sin. Receive, hallelujah, Jesus Christ. Be baptized in his name. And he will give you the Holy Ghost that will see you through the storm. Come on, somebody. Beloved, say hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about me. I'm not talking about this. When I start calling on that day, oh, hallelujah. He gets me going. When the doctor said this and the doctor said that, I said, Jesus. I said, Jesus. Even on Thursday, when the heart doctor began to tell me, I said, Doctor, hallelujah, I pray. He said, I pray. I said, well, you need to read your Bible, doctor. He said, I don't read the Bible. I said, you got to read it so you can learn about Jesus. I am not afraid of what the doctor said. Because my doctor name is
but the master of the sea. He heard, he heard, he heard, he heard, he heard. And from the waters, he lifted at me. Now I pray, now I pray, now I pray. It was love. I said it was love. Jesus Christ, but he gave it to me almost over 40 years ago. I got the same power. Do you got that power? Do you got that power? Do you got that power? Do you got it? Do you got it? Do you got it? I'm not talking about James Brown power. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost that makes you live right. The Holy Ghost that make you walk right. The Holy Ghost that make you talk right. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. You might be drinking. You may be alcoholic. But that's all right. I already know all the right. You may like to get high. That's all right. We already know about that too. But I want you today. There's a deliver in the house. There's a deliver in the house. He got the power. He got the power. He got it. He got it. He got it. You can have it. You can have it. And you can have it for free. Somebody say all you need is a little bit of faith. It don't take much. But somebody said, call on Jesus. If you call on Jesus, he will answer prayer. All you got to do is call on Jesus. I dare you to call on Jesus. Somebody said, Jesus. 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 Don't tell me he can't fix it. He knows. Somebody sing the song, say if you call on Jesus, if you call on him, don't be afraid to call on him. Huh? He will ask a prayer because he got the power. He got the power. You may be breathing, but he got the power to break every chain, everything that's not like him. He got it. I said he got it. He can fix it. If you have a broken heart, Jesus can fix it. You don't have to stay at the shape that you in. The power. Y'all don't hear me today. He want to put you back together again. Somebody need to come out and see it. Come out and see it. Come out and see it. Come on out. He ain't going to help you. The scriptures say, come unto me. This is Jesus talking. All ye that labor in heaven labor. Somebody in here is heavy labor. Somebody here needs some rest. And all you have to do is turn it over to Jesus. I said, turn it over to Jesus. Turn it over to Jesus. And he'll make it all right. I said, he'll make it all right. I tried. We sing a song and I tried. And I found that. He's all right with me. He's all right with me. Well, my mother couldn't help me. Father couldn't help me. My husband couldn't help me. Your wife can't help me. But well, one thing about it, I know a man from Galilee. If you in sin, he'll set you free. Do you know him? Do you know him? Christ, the Son of God, he's able. Look at the time we're living in. A terrible time. Bishop hit on it this morning. The Lord been dealing with me. 
Can you read me, Elder? A little bit higher. Psalms 124. I want you to hear this here. Because we think it's by chance that we just hear on our own. But I want to show you something. Psalms 124. You don't have to stand up. I want you to listen to this. Elder going to read for us. Because some people think you hear by your own chance choice. It's only because of God, grace, and mercy that you hear. But it says, Elder. If it had not been for the Lord, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side. If it had not been the Lord. We talk about the same Jesus on my side. Now may Israel say. Now Israel may say. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. When men rose up against uh -huh. you. You know what I'm talking about. When men rose up against you. Uh-huh. Then they had swallowed us up quick. Then they would swallow us up quick. Yeah. Uh -huh. When the wrath was kindled against us. Uh -huh. when they was kindled against us, they wrecked. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The water would have overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. The streams had gone over our soul. Then the proud water uh -huh. had gone over our soul. The proud water would have gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Blessed be the Lord. That has not given us a prey to their teeth. As a prey. Don't worry about it. He got you. Go ahead. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the sea. Our soul has escaped. Go ahead. As a bird out of the snare of the fowler. Uh huh. As a bird is the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken. The snare is broken because of that power of Jesus had. And we are escaped. We are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Uh huh. I want you to hold up the elder. It ain't in your friend's hand. It ain't in your neighbor's hand. It ain't in Bishop's hand. It ain't in the elder Sewell hand. It's in the name of the Lord. The Lord is with us. Lord is with us. Who made heaven and earth. Who made heaven and earth. And today, Lord speaking to somebody. That was a beautiful message. They had this conversation about that power that he has. Remember this here. God gives everyone a chance. One guy just said recently, he was laying in his bed, the bullet came through the house. Some people taking it as a joke, doing all kind of stuff. They don't want to hear what, oh no, he ain't coming now. I can have fun, I can do what I want to do. The devil's a liar. Because if you don't be careful, you're going to die in your sin. But today is the day of salvation. Yeah, yeah. I said today is the day of salvation. Come now! You ain't got time to think about it. And the Bible said the children of this world is going to be more wiser and more wicked. Keep waiting this thing for that change you're thinking that's going to come. If you don't have Christ, you're in trouble today. Yeah. I want you to know you're in trouble today. Bullets flying through people's house. And if cussing it came to your house yet, who do you think it is doing this here? That's God's grace and mercy. That's only the grace of God that didn't come through your house. If your kid's still walking around, it's because of God's grace and mercy. It ain't because you did all that good stuff or whatever. You bless somebody or something. It's because of God's grace. Yes, yeah. I be praying for my children's all the time. My son got his own little bit of service. And he take pick up all kind of people from the airport, different clients and everything. I said, Lord, keep them under the blood. Because if the Lord don't keep you, you can't be kept. <laughs> don't think it's you you're doing something so good that you can be kept on your own. You need Jesus. You need him. Don't you let nobody tell you you don't need them. Oh, honey, just have a good time. It may be your last time. I keep coming to go tell you. The Lord lead me to tell you. Don't play with the Lord. You don't want to play with the Lord. You can play with some rattlesnakes, but you don't want to play with the Lord. Time is winding up. Time is winding up. It ain't going to be long. Because we're living in perilous times. The Bible said perilous are times to come. But perilous times is here. Right now. 
Look around you. Open your eyes. Ask God to open your eyes and take the scale that you, you can see these things. Don't walk around blind. Time is winding up. Folks run around blind. I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. All right, just wait on time. I heard Minister St. Clair said this old woman told her one day, and I hold on to it. Say, baby, just wait on time. Because time won't bring about a change. You know how the old folks say it. Oh, you just wait on time. You may think everything going smooth for you now, but it's going to. That's why James said, count it all, joke. When you fall into dying of temptation. No, I guess. That the trying of your faith is going to work some patience. He said, that patient had his prayer for breaking you. Time is winding up. It ain't going to be long. Time is winding God been good to us. Saints. He been good to our children. Yeah. Some of our children's in prison. Some in the hospital. Wake up! Time is winding up! And God's so merciful. God long suffering. What is charity? Love. God loves us so much, He long suffering. Somebody else don't lost three or four children. And some they haven't lost not one. I lost one. But guess what? God's still good to me. Yeah. I said, God's still good to me. Yeah. I lost the son. When they broke the news, they said, my son shot himself in the head. I didn't know what to do. They said, Elder Sue walked to the house. My son didn't want me to hear the news by myself. He said, Elder Sue was vacation Bible school. He said, go over there. Ask my mother. They had me to call my son while Elder Sue walked, while I was getting the news about my son shot himself and he was dead. But you know, God kept me in the midst of it all. I thank God because God is good. I want you to know today, saints, God is a good God. I want you to know, visitor, God is a good God. Don't take it for granted. God loves you. God loves you. That's why he gave his holy begotten son. I believe on him. Share. Have ever that son I You know what? I keep Jesus in the vessel. Yeah, yeah. It's 
all about Jesus. It doesn't matter what everybody else is saying. As long as Jesus is in your life, you'll be still and know that he is in control. Yeah. It's about Jesus. It's not just about us. It's about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. When he was a little child, they left him behind. They went back and get him. Don't leave Jesus no matter where you go, no matter what you do, don't forget about Jesus. And as you bring Jesus in, make sure you include God. Make sure you include Him. If you don't have Jesus as the Lord of your life today, you've never repented of your sins, You've never been baptized in Jesus' name. You've never been filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Today the Lord is saying, let me come into your ship. Yeah. Open up your heart door. He said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open up and let me in, I will come in and I will sup with him. And he will be. Come to Jesus today. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus right now. Come to Jesus right now. He will save you. Your life is a turmoil. You have storm and waves. Oh Lord, the devil sometimes is throwing you back and forth. And it doesn't seem as if you know night from day. Just give it to Jesus. Come to Jesus. He's the one. Cast all your cares upon the Lord. Why? Because He cares for you. Never think that as you go through your problem. Never think that as you go through your situation. Never think that no matter what you're going through, that Jesus doesn't care. He cares. They ask Him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? You're not perishing. As long Christ is in the vessel, you're not perishing. Everything is going to be alright. We sing the song, I've got a feeling everything is going to be alright. Why can we say that? Because I have Jesus and that's enough. Oh Lord, and that's enough. He saved me, that's enough. He keeps me, that's enough. He feeds me, that's enough. When I'm hungry, that's enough. I've got Jesus. And that's enough. That's enough. And you know what also, because I have Jesus, I have me some brothers and sisters also. I have me some brothers and sisters in the Lord. Come to Jesus today. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. No matter what, have Jesus in your life. When Jesus met the woman at the well and he asked for water, she said, how are you, a Jew, asking me for water? And he said, you don't even have anything to drink, to draw from the well from. Jesus said, if you only knew, if you only knew, who would ask you? for water, then you would flip it on him and ask him for water. Come to Jesus. If not, we're not going to wear your patience, so we're leaving the hands up for just now. And when you see the need, come to Jesus. I can't imagine my life without Jesus. As I look back over my life and I look at everything, he was there every step of the way. So at this time, our pastor, Bishop Hubert Gibbs, is receiving by saying amen. Amen.
was come. Yeah. Amen. And there was the sound from heaven as the rushing men and women. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clothes and tongues. Like a fire, like a fire. And it appeared on the land of everyone that was in the upper room. Amen. He said, Have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe. Since you believe. No, I have heard we are in the Holy Ghost. But, all he said, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for this ghost. The Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. Some people say Holy Spirit, but I'm going to say Holy Ghost. Oh, hallelujah. I can Holy Ghost. Down south, we come with a lot of gold. Like this Holy Ghost that we know called the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. You don't have to be scared of it. You don't have to be scared of it. Amen. But it's real. It's real. Amen. It's for you and your children. For them that are far off. Amen. Your son, your daughter. Amen. It's for all of us. It's all of us. Praise the Lord. I thank the Lord. So this ship that Jesus was in. I'm so glad he was in the ship. Yes. Praise the Lord on board with us. Yes. Our ship was lacking. Our ship was lacking. Yeah. But today our ship was full by the grace of God. Yes. Amen. He is going from earth to glory. Yes. He will suffer. Amen. He said on the seven seas, no, not on the seven seas. He's going to take us up in the air. No propellers on this ship. Praise the Lord. Have you seen a ship with no propellers? Praise the Lord. The captain of the ship will be Jesus. Praise the Lord. And no angel. You don't have to have no angels to fly this ship. Praise the Lord. You can do it alone. And God will say, come. Go, son. Go. And get the church ready to me. And Lord gonna come. He's gonna take us up to glory. Where he is, where he stands. Praise the Lord. That still remains our people for the rest, for the people of God. Amen. The Lord is loving you. The Lord is smiling on you. The Lord keep you until we meet again. Love you, Saint. Love you. Love you too. We love you.